Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we got this 2023 Tesla Model Y in for a full car ultimate IR tint job, getting done in 55% and also a 5% brow. We're gonna take you through the process of prepping and tinting all the windows on this vehicle. All right, so the first step here for prepping the glass, we're gonna prep the outside because it has to be heat shrunken, so we want the outside to be nice and clean, and then we'll go ahead and we'll prep the inside. So just a light mist, nothing crazy. Bust out your white scrub pad. Just give it a good scrub. Again, we're just doing this so that the tin doesn't get scratched from any little debris when we're shrinking it. Don't gotta go crazy. Give it a nice squeegee off. So the outside's nice and prepped. Um, you know, we don't gotta go crazy there. On the inside where the film is gonna sit is where we really wanna make sure the prep is adequate. So we're gonna really scrub it. Make sure you get the top edge too. A lot of debris will sit up there. You can ruin your tin job very easily. So after you give it a good scrub, use your hand and you can actually feel the debris, if there's any debris on it or adhesive. So I actually felt a little bit up here. So I'm gonna just go over it. Do it again. It feels better. After that, I'm gonna grab your triangle tool and a towel get in the gasket. And when you're tinting windows, you wanna make sure not to let the slip solution sit on the door panel too long. It can actually stain the door panel, which you don't want. And what I like to do with your um, rag is just look at it and see how much dirt's coming off and then that'll give you a good idea how much dirt is left behind the gasket. Now we're gonna shrink the glass, or shrink the film on the glass. So we're gonna slip up the outside and put the film on the glass. So now when you do this actually, you want to line the back edge up at the, as like close as you can and leave a little bit overhang in the front because most of the curve tends to be in the back. And when you do this, you want to leave a little bit of room down here where your liner is, where your liner overhangs, so it doesn't get bunched up at the bottom. Now we're going to take all of our slack from the top and work it down and around to the bottom so we can shrink it. When you're doing it up here, where we have a little bit of overhang, don't push it on the edge. You can just leave a little bit up like that. So right here, I'm just trying to kind of get my fingers um, situated. So I got three separate fingers instead of one giant finger. And we can shrink those. Now we're gonna shrink these, get my heat gun warm up a little bit, put some heat on them, and slowly work them down. When you're shrinking the film on the outside, you wanna make sure not to put too much heat down here, if this was like rubber, you could melt it on these pestles. They're not rubber, so you don't have to worry as much. But you still want to make sure not to burn, burn the piece. So a lot of tinters, they'll actually just use the glass now as a peel board. Um, you can do that, 
And if this vehicle was gonna get coated and someone was gonna prep and wash it after, I would. But I try to not do that just so that there's less water runs on the vehicle to clean up afterwards. So I just put it on the peel board. So now we've shrunk it. The film won't sit flat on your peel board if that's how you choose to do it. So don't try to squeegee it perfect because it'll end up just creasing it most likely. So even though we just prepped with this glass before, we actually want to just do what we call a spray squeegee spray. It'll just get any dust that's fallen off you know, in the last five minutes onto it or lint left over. It's really just an insurity, like an insurance kind of a thing. Make sure that nothing's on the glass. Shout out Window Tint Warriors. Oh, no, I was just about to say, you gotta get yeah, that Warriors too, man. Window Tint Warriors. So now we're just slipping it up. The reason we spray the liner first here is to help relieve static so that less things cling to the film. Look it up pretty good. Try to be as smooth as possible. It'll help um, limit debris. Just easier you are with the film, less flowing around you. Doing. Put that on. So now I'm just going to go over the uh, door panel here. Keep it dry. Make sure we don't stain the door panel. So on this edgeless glass here, um, since we don't have the side gaskets to worry about. All we really have to do is get this front and bottom down into place. So we're going to grab our shank tool, which is this guy right here, and just kind of pull the gasket back and just work it down into place like so. Now I'm under, so I'm going to worry about lining up the top edge and the back. We're pretty good right there. I can get a little tighter up top here. A little bit better up front. Try to keep your light gaps as tight as possible. It just gives the customer a better, better job, and it only takes you, you know, maybe 30 seconds to get a good, good alignment. Put a light mist on it just so our squeegee has something to glide on. Want to hold the film so you don't wiggle it out of place. It stinks if you get it too tacked on when you got to move it. Like I just moved it a little bit. So now that I've got it semi-tacked, I'll kind of get it back into place. You want to make sure that you feel, if you do this, and the film, if you pull the film up like that, that means you have overhang, which you don't want. So right there, the film is sitting nice. Still, you can see that, which is fine because we're going to heat it up in a minute and get it really packed down. Make sure you have the exact location where you want the film to sit. Once you heat it, you will not be able to move it. At least you shouldn't be able to move it. Yeah, so now that I have it all squeegeed out, I'm gonna start heating up the top edge. And on the edgeless glass, so if this was um, like a framed window, I would just do the top edge. But on the edgeless ones, I like to do anything that's like kind of exposed and not seated under a gasket. When you're doing it, you want to make sure you keep the uh, heat gun moving. You don't want to heat up the glass too much in one spot and potentially crack it. You also don't want to leave too much water behind the film when you're heating it up on the top edge. If you go to then 
hit out the water, it'll actually leave adhesive marks. We call them snail trails here behind the film, and you'll have to redo the piece. When you're heating it up, it should be, I would say, like pretty warm to the touch, not hot. Um, if you kind of grab the glass and you kind of like have to pull your hand away quickly, that's a good place to stop. If you go any further, you'll potentially damage the glass. So I'm in a good spot there. We grab our hard card and a towel. We put a towel on the hard card just to help limit uh, potential scratching. We just go through the top edge, get any little bit of water out. Like I said, if you heat it up too much and try to do this, you will actually leave markings. So just get it warm. Pass room temperature warm, but not, um, not hot. So now if you had a edged window, you'd have to roll it up the bottom, but since this is edgeless, we're pretty much just pushing out any excess water down. Since we didn't heat up the bottom, you don't have to worry too much about marking down here. You still could if you didn't have enough uh, slip solution behind. But we do this just to help ensure uh, quicker dry times so customers have less of a worry about potentially uh, ripping the film off, especially since these roll up and down when you open the door. We're gonna go over the, the bottom edge with heat in a minute. And we have all the solution at the bottom out. Then grab your hard card now, or sorry, your triangle, and just get in there, get all this little stuff out of the bottom. Just a nice whoop. Again, this is plastic, um, so you wanna just be careful. Make sure your tool is not too like old or beat up, because again, you could potentially scratch the film. So uh, I actually have a little, kind of a little tip of the trade. After you do this, if you, when we go to kind of close the door, you know, we have to untrick the latch, the door will go up and down. So you can actually kind of get water kind of sucked back up in its bottom edge. So if you go in it with your towel and just kind of pull that water out, soak it up, it kind of helps mitigate those little, I don't want to say fingers, because they're almost like little water pockets, but they're like little water fingers. You suck it up and you won't have that problem. So we're pretty much done with this window here. We're just going to heat the bottom edge up. So we just ensure we don't have any problems when we close the glass, or close the door with the glass going up and down. And this window will be done. Aside from cleaning it, you know, just Put some glass cleaner on it, get it streak free. Now you also want to, uh, once you get here, or even before you heat up the top edge, just look through it, make sure you don't have any creases, debris, fingers. I actually see a little bit of, a little air pocket behind the film here, so I'm gonna have to squeegee that out. I can actually show you guys if you can pick it up on the film. You might not be able to see it from the inside. Okay. But right here, there's a few little air pockets. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that makes it better or worse. But so you, you don't want that in there, so I'm going with my hard card. Right in there. Thank you guys. Yeah, right here. here. Right, push them out. You want to be really careful when you're doing this. Um, the reason I'm not using my towel on my hard card is just to ensure that I can get it out. And you do want to be careful, like I said, not to scratch the film when doing this. Make sure you have like a pretty new hard card when it's bed is not left up on. Okay, we got those out. I'm gonna clean the glass and then we can look for debris and then it'll be done. So we're just cleaning the glass, got the outside pretty much clean, the inside. Go for debris, which on this, just from you know, sitting here looking at it, I don't really see any, which is good. So we can kind of hunt for debris. 
your main areas of debris are typically around your edges, which we look really good. I don't see honestly like anything in this. A really typical install, you'll have a piece of debris or two. It's really hard to be like debris free, but as long as you don't have like a lot of debris or major clumping, it's pretty acceptable normally. This is honestly a really good install. Top edge is crispy. I don't see a speck of debris in it, so this is a really good job and it's a keeper. So that's going to wrap up how you tint one of these side windows on this 2023 Tesla Model Y. Casey's going to go ahead get the driver's side done right now, then go ahead and get the brow done. And after that, this Tesla is going to be finished up and ready to go to the customer.